Hey everyone, so in last lecture, we talked about linearly independent and linearly dependent vectors. And uh, once you study this topic, there are usually four fundamental questions that one can expect from these things. Okay, well, the standard ones are there, whether the given set or whether the given vectors are independent or not, that's one thing. But other than this, the other four that I'm talking today is that suppose if you have a subset, if you have a set i, okay. And if this is i or instead of i, let me take s. If s is a linearly dependent set and if I take a t, a subset of s, then is t linearly dependent? That means whether a subset of a linearly dependent set linearly dependent. Similarly, if suppose your p is linearly independent set and if I take a subset of a linearly independent set, then whether that subset is also linearly independent. So these are regarding the subsets. Similarly, one can ask about the supersets. If T is dependent and S is a superset of T, then whether S is dependent and if Q is independent and P is a superset of Q, then whether P is independent set or not. So these are the four questions involving subsets and supersets. So I'm going to answer these questions today and well for two questions the answer is true and for two questions the answers are false. So let's go one by one. The first question is, is a subset of linearly dependent set linearly dependent? That is if i is a subset of j and your j is linearly dependent. So question is whether your i is also linearly dependent? Well, the answer is false. Okay. Subset of linearly dependent need not be linearly dependent. Okay. So like if I take uh, j to be, let me call v1 as 1, 1 and let me call v2 as 2, 2. Is this linearly dependent set? Yes, because you can easily see your v2 is nothing but 2 times v1. So one of the vector is depending on another vectors. See, I'm not recalling the definition of independent and dependent vectors. If you have any doubt in that, you can find the link in the description. There I have talked in very detail and I have also taken the examples. Okay, so if you have any doubt with the uh, definition or the examples, please see that lecture. Okay, so here since one vector is depending on other, therefore these two vectors are independent, uh, these two vectors are dependent vectors. And therefore, J is a linearly dependent set. Let me take I is equal to singleton 1 comma 1. Now your I is a subset of J. Okay. Is I independent or dependent? It is linearly independent. Why? Because if C times 1 1 is 0, then question is what is C? So here you can see you multiply inside under usual multiplication. When you compare, you get c equal to 0. So if c times a vector is 0, then the c is coming out to be 0. Therefore, your i is linearly independent set. Okay. So subset of linearly dependent set need not be linearly dependent. It can be independent as well. Therefore, answer to first question is false. Okay. Let's go for the second one. What is the second one? Is a subset of linearly independent set linearly independent okay that means if i is a subset of j and j is linearly independent question is whether my i is also linearly independent for this the answer is true okay so for independence subsets behaves nicely not for dependence okay so i need to prove this Okay, so what do I have? I have J. So let me have some vectors, say V1, V2 up to say Vn. This is independent set. That means if the linear combination is zero, if the linear combination is zero, then the scalars has to be zero. I want to prove that I is independent. So what is your I? I is a subset of J. So without loss of generality, let me call I as V1, V2 up to vk where k is less than n like suppose here you have v1 v2 up to v100 so i'm taking suppose v2 v10 or suppose this is v1 v2 up to v100 
आई एम टेकिंग वी टेन वी ट्वेंटी वी थर्टी अप टू वी हंड्रेड सो आई एम टेकिंग टेन एलिमेंट्स बट आई कैन ऑलवेज रीलेबल देम सो लेट मी इफ आई एम टेकिंग वी टेन फर्स्ट सो आई एम रिकॉलिंग वी टेन एज वी वन आई होप यू आर गेटिंग वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू से आई कैन राइट दिस एज वी वन टू वी के इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग आर्बिटरी नंबर ओवर हियर आई कैन ऑलवेज डू दिस एन्यूमरेशन ओके सो इफ वी वन टू वी एन इज अ सेट जे आई कैन टेक सबसेट आई एज वी वन टू वी के इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ वी वन इफ यू आर टेकिंग फर्स्ट वी सेवन देन यू आर टेकिंग वी नाइनटीन देन यू आर टेकिंग वी थर्टी ओके दिस वॉज वी टू राइट सो यू कॉल वी टू एज वी वन देन यू कॉल वी सेवन एज वी टू यू कॉल वी नाइनटीन एज वी थ्री सो यू कैन ऑलवेज डू दिस रीलेबलिंग सो नो माई आई इज अ सबसेट ऑफ जे इज आई इंडिपेंडेंट येस Why i is independent? Because so how do you prove? So if c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus ck vk is zero, what I want to prove? C1 to ck is zero. That's what our aim is. Now if this is zero, I can always add zero vector. Zero times vk plus one plus zero times vk plus two plus zero times vn equal to zero. okay because this sum is zero and what is this zero into vk plus 1 is zero this is zero so this is zero only so i'm adding a zero vector to c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus ck vk so this addition is still zero now what i'm having i'm having a linear combination of v1 to vn equal to zero so if the linear combination of v1 to vn is zero then all the coefficients has to be zero why because my j is a linearly independent set so since j is independent so all the coefficients are zero c1 is zero c2 is zero ck is zero these coefficients are already zero so but ultimately yeah what i got i got that c1 to ck are zero and therefore my i is a linearly independent set okay so subset of linearly dependent need not be linearly dependent whereas a subset of linearly independent is always linearly independent now let's go for the supersets so now i'm asking is a superset of linearly dependent set linearly dependent that means if your j is linearly dependent and j is contained in k then my question is whether k is linearly dependent so for subsets and linearly dependent answer is false but for supersets and linearly depend dependent answer is true superset of linearly dependent is always linearly dependent why so let us try to see the proof suppose my j is v1 up to vk so what will be my capital k it is v1 v2 vk vk plus 1 up to vn okay so if this is dependent my aim is claim is k is also dependent why so so now i want to prove that some linear combination of this vectors is zero where at least some scalars are non zero that's what my aim is okay now what is given to me j is dependent since j is dependent there exist c1 c2 up to ck not all zero such that C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus CK VK is zero. Where not all CIs are zero. Okay, because it is given that J is a dependent set. Okay. Now what I will do is I will again extend this. Now since this is zero, if I add zero times VK plus one plus zero times VK plus two plus zero times VK. instead of writing in the next line i am writing here itself okay so since this addition is zero if i add 0 0 0 the answer is still zero fine so what do i get i get a linear combination of n vectors equal to zero where not all the scalars are zero these scalars are zero but we know that these scalars are not all zero by this assumption Okay, so we are having a linear combination of n vectors equal to zero, where not all the scalars are zero, and therefore this collection is a dependent collection of vectors. That means my k is linearly dependent set. 
okay so that's the proof if you get stuck then you can again rewind and see this again and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section okay now the fourth and the last one is a super set of linearly independent set linearly independent so for subset and independence answer is true but for superset and independence answer is false that means if your i is subset of j and your i is independent question is is my j independent answer is need not be okay so let me take the earlier example let me take i is equal to singleton 1 1 is this independent yes because if c times this is zero c itself is zero just now we proved you take j to be 1 one, 1 one and 2 2 so your j is a superset of i but j is dependent why because the second vector is 2 times the first vector so superset of linearly independent set need not be linearly independent okay so i hope all the four claims are clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you